I sit by my window, gazing out to the world around me. The clouds covered the sun and the sky as the rain came plummeting down to the ground. It was a dark January afternoon and I felt tired, drained, lifeless almost. I had had a long day at work trying to put all of the pieces together. Who killed Mr. Johnson? Who killed this innocent man on his way to work one morning? Turning back to my desk as papers detailing the crime sat before me, almost laughing at me. I must admit, I had spent many hours glaring at the picture of Mr. Johnson's dead body sprawled out on the floor like his life didn't matter to anyone. Who killed this man? Was it the wife, Mrs. Johnson, or his twisted ex-partner, Brianna Simpson? Both had reasons to kill him, and both were present when Mr. Johnson died. I had been at this case for a very long time, and my mind was tired, and I was stressed. I needed some kind of breakthrough. I needed to piece together this puzzle. Today was not a good day for me. I had been watching the clock since the second I went to work, and I had several distractions, like the warmth of the fire. My vision was constantly being distracted, and often I would find myself walking to the fireplace and gazing into the fire until my face became hot. I was dazzled by the sounds, the look, and the warmth it radiated. I'd been on this case for a very, very long time, years in fact, and this case had been deemed impossible to solve by many officers and investigators. Now I spent the majority of my days pacing backwards and forwards in my workroom, becoming increasingly infuriated, but today I'd had enough. All of a sudden, I heard something click inside my mind. Time was ticking by, my brain was tired, and I was thinking about the time I could be spending with my family right now. I lost it, flinging my work around on the floor like it didn't matter to me anymore. But after spending some time trying to sort myself out, I began to replace my papers back onto their usual positions on my work desk. Time goes by and I constantly hear the clock tick. Then I come to an epiphany. A sudden thought came into my mind which overloaded anything else going on in my life. I'd cracked it. I'd found something out that could really change this case. I'd found out who killed Mr. Johnson. <laughs>